everyone. Um, welcome to November. Uh, November is one of my favorite months. Uh, I like when it gets a little bit cooler and the holidays are right around the corner, including Thanksgiving, which is always a lot of fun. Um, and so right this month, I decided I was going to focus on um, friends and family and on being thankful and sharing the good, the good things we do have in, in our lives. And hopefully that is our friends and family. Um, so uh, we're going to start. I've got, this week we're talking about friends. And I have two books to share with you guys. Hopefully you already did some music and movement, got all your wiggles out, and now you're ready to sit and hear a story. So I'm gonna set this one aside. And we're gonna start with Pete the Cat and the New Guy. And this one is by Kimberly and James Dean. And it is published by HarperCollins Publishing. So here's, Here's Pete. Check out his, his cast of friends here. I mean, he's a cat. And in his bus, we've got a turtle and an owl and a little bird and a frog. And I think it's a squirrel and octopus and an alligator. And he is friends with all of them, even though they all look really different and probably have some different interests. I mean, I don't imagine that the little songbird and the alligator have a ton in common but they can still treat each other kindly and be friends. So this is Pete the Cat and the New Guy. It was Sunday and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when beep, 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 there was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old Al had a view from his tree. Pete said, hey Al, what do you see? And Al said, all I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, sounds like my kind of cat. Mm, a new friend? I hope so. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. I really hope it's a new friend for me. Yeah, but the, the new guy's probably hoping that too. He doesn't know anybody. On Monday, he wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. I get that way sometimes too. Okay, so he just rode by and by and by and by. Oh my goodness, Pete, stop and say hello. Until finally, Pete got to meet the new guy. Oh my goodness, here he is. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck, bill and feet, and like a beaver too. A little beaver tail and a furry body. The new guy, what, what is he? Does anybody know? What is our new friend? The new guy said to Pete, hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Oh, the platypus. Pete said, you're not like me and I am not like you, but I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in a tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try it and see. Oh, I don't know if platypuses can climb. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend Grumpy Toad, who said, come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Well, cats and frogs can both jump. Well, so there goes Pete, and there goes Frog, and there goes Gus. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad. 
Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street and soon they saw Octopus who said, come juggle with me. Juggling is easy, try and see. Oh, I bet juggling is easy when you got eight hands. Oh, I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. Oh, poor Gus, he's not liking his new home. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet, he plays music. Pete said, check out Gus the platypus. He found something cool he can do with us. What does he play? plays the drums. That's pretty cool. So he joined their band. They found something he could do. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. What that's the end. So Pete added one more friend, and apparently Gus knows how to drive the bus, too. So he's driving the bus. It's the Gus bus. All right, and that is the end. Oh, Pete was so nice to try and help his friend find something they, they could do together so they could be friends. That was nice. Okay, I do have one more story for you. If you need to take a break and get some wiggles out, go ahead and pause the video and come back to it. I gotta grab a drink of water real quick. Okay, and our second story for today is Bear Says Thanks. And this is one of my favorite stories for this time of year because it really, um, it's, a lot, it's about friends and taking care of our friends and also about um, gathering together and sharing a nice meal, and also about being polite. So it's Bear Says Thanks, and I'm gonna need help with this one. Do you guys think you can help me with this book? I hope so. When I say Bear Says, I want all of you to say thanks. Okay, do you guys think you can handle that? Let's practice it. Right. Bear Says Thanks. I think we're ready. Okay, grown-ups, we could probably use your help on this one as well. So this is Bear Says Thanks by Carmel Wilson and Jane Chapman. And this one is published by Margaret K. Alderberry Books, oh, which is part of Simon & Schuster. All of the Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, bored, bored. And he misses his friends. Oh, poor bear. I could make a big dinner. A feast I could share. That sounds like a nice idea. But he looks through his cupboard. And his cupboard is bare. Oh, oh, all he has is a spider web. That's not going to make a very good meal. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie. And the bear says, what does he say? Thanks! Oh, there's Mouse with his little pie. He's so cute. Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. <sighs> but I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. Then they hear hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Oh, yum, muffins. Hare hurries in from the cold rushing wind, and the bear says, what's he say? Your turn. Thanks! Of course 
says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. What is Badger bringing? He's got fish. Brrr, says Badger as he tromps inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, what's he say? Thanks. Oh my goodness, look at all that fish he brought. So let's count them and see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fish. Rick is starting to get lots of stuff to eat now. And go for a mole, tunnel up from the floor. We have warm honey nuts or tunnel from the ground. We have warm honey nuts. Let's pass them around. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters Owl with Raven and Wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. My goodness, they're gonna have a good feast. And the bear says, wait! Oh. That's, that's not what he's supposed to say. Bear mutters and he stutters and he wears a big frown. He sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share. But me? I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Mouse squeaks. Don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It'll be all right. I'll give him a nice big hug. And the bear says, your turn. Thanks. Oh, they're making him feel better. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather around. Well, we're getting ready to eat. In a cave in the woods in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend, Bear. They pass around platters, they tweet, and they chatter. And they all say, thanks. Oh, how very nice. They all brought something to share as friends and had a wonderful meal together. I just think that's so nice. Oh. Hey, all right, so that's what I have for you guys today. Um, I hopefully everybody is staying safe and it's probably, it's probably cold by the time I'm, you guys are seeing this. Uh, so I'm gonna sign off. I will see you guys next week for Thanksgiving story time, or no, two weeks. Um, next week is family. So this week is friends, next week will be family and then Thanksgiving. All right. so. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye guys. I miss you. I love you. Have a wonderful day.